peace and blessings. Welcome to the Elite Level Thinkers. Let's discuss Stand the Peck, shall we? Sit down necks, as I call them. Now, here they are changing the world, 50 people at a time. Um, bear in mind how much they promote themselves, okay? Now, I went on their website earlier and I was shocked to find the following. So, on their website, it's a list of channels that they recommend. And here we have Rebel News, and I almost like spat out the coffee that I don't drink. Um, but anyway, so for those who don't know what Rebel News is, I could summarize it as a far right. Um, headquarters for Zionists such as Tommy Robinson but I'll give you more details so have a look at this right so that's the main guy who founded it right so you, you can read that for yourself can't you now if you read his name slowly it actually sounds like Israel doesn't it so Ezra Levant but Israel, yeah, so Israel. So that's the founder of them, okay. And here it says he has focused on supposed crime committed by Muslim immigrants to Canada and and he hosts prominent Muslim haters. Uh, he identifies as a Zionist and supporter of Israel. Okay, so stand up pecs are promoting far-right channels who um, are supporters of Israel and Zionists. So st let me say that again for you. Stand up X promote Zionists. Okay? Have a look. Their chief correspondent. He is a former Israeli Defence Force marksman. <laughs> so the founder is a Zionist and their chief correspondent for Australia and their main guy really is a former Israeli Defence Force marksman. Now I personally don't believe that but that's the legend that they've built him. Yeah? So you've got a... <laughs> Israeli sniper um, and the founder is a supporter of Israel and Zionist. <laughs> so, Stand Up X, yeah, are promoting Israel Defense Force snipers and Zionists. Oh my god. Um, Stand Up X, here's their YouTube channel. Oh, look, they got a massive 18 videos. Wow, my goodness me. Changing the world, 18 videos at a time. Mate, I make 18 videos in two weeks, yeah? Not not over a year, like you, stand up X. Um, I got more subs than them, which is brilliant, because I don't go around London promoting myself through sodding loudspeakers like a bunch of Muppets like Nacho does, and AJ, yeah? So, I've got more videos than them, I've got more subscribers than them, so that's a massive, massive pat on the back for this channel, okay? What else have we got? Look at the views for their last video. Five, five, massive, 500 views in seven months. Uh, I get 500 views on my videos in a day. Uh, they can't even get over 500 in seven months. So Stand Up X, the official branded freedom movement, gets 500 views on their videos in seven months. So you have to ask yourself, do they really have 3,000 subscribers? Probably not. Probably not. Probably more like 1,000, yeah? Because I don't see why they'd only have 500 views on their last video. And look when they last did a video, seven months ago. So they're that committed to the truth movement and the freedom movement that they can't be bothered to make another video on YouTube. And they haven't done for seven months. So what have you been doing for seven months? Just chilling. Drinking beer like Nacho likes to drink. Um, yeah. 
18 videos in, a, in over a year, supposedly 3,000 subscribers, yet they can't even get more than 600 views in seven months. And why, why have you stopped uploading to uh, YouTube? wouldn't happen to be because I've exposed you all just like I exposed UK Column and they've gone like I exposed Haiku Koo and he's gone coincidence I suppose yeah what it is you know that my channel controls YouTube now that's basically what it is so what you try to do is you try to make everyone go to all the other places apart from YouTube because you know that I hold the power here not I the channel because there's thousands of us but we hold the power here because we see through you and we spread the word and you can't control it so therefore you come off YouTube because you know that you can't you can't counter what we do yeah Let's look at some prominent members of Stand Up X. So here we have Marco Giovanni, the world-class DJ with a massive six subscribers on his YouTube channel. The one that no one's ever heard of, that one. Yeah. So here you can see him inciting violence against the police. He's already done that in Bradford as well, caught on film. So that's who they have representing them, this, this moron here. Yeah. A total discreditor, an agent provocateur who incites violence against the police. So that's that's one of them. But forget Marco, his name is Grey Breeder and it always will be, mate. I made you what you are. Oh, and look, here he is getting so called arrested. So you'll see a theme with the stand up PEX members that they all seem to get arrested, but they're able to go back to the protest without an issue whatsoever. Okay, mate. So there's our world-class DJ with six subscribers on his YouTube channel getting arrested by the fuzz because he's such a rebel. Yeah, like Rebel News, the far-right channel that Stand Up X promote, the Zionists that Stand Up X promotes. Yeah, you traitors. I'm coming for all of you, mate, all of you. Here's Nacho, the spokesman for Stand Up X. Again, getting probably fake arrested. And while he was getting arrested, he had a bottle of uh, beer flying all over the place. I might, I might show that in a minute as the outro. So, yeah, he likes to drink beer when he's on his uh, freedom marches because people take um, you seriously when they see you swill a, a pint of bloody Stella, you knob. Um, oh, and there they are together. Look at them. I bet they have little tales of uh, all the arrest stories that they had and, you know, the police brutality. Police brutality! Police brutality! Yeah? There's um, Marco, a.k.a. Grey Bleeder, with his earpiece in that he says he listens to music even though he wears it at Speaker's Corner where, you you know, you go there to listen to speeches, but he's apparently listening to Box Fizz and uh, Sheena Easton and Cindy Lauper, the knob. Um... Yeah, there's our man Nacho. Here's another one that represents him. This idiot cricket man. Yeah. Look at his hair, right? Um, and this is the moron who exposed the whole staged event of the 26th of September when he said, Monique, my love, the only thing stopping us being together is the jab. So all the way back in September, he was promoting the jabs, basically, yeah? In a in a reverse psychology way, basically, yeah? You've got to think about what they're doing here. And there's, there's Grey Bleeder, the discreditor. You know, he just has to walk around with a Poundland shopping bag on, on demos, you know? Because it gives that good... It gives a good vibe, you know, seeing some scruffy old man with a pound lounge shopping bag as he's inciting violence against the police. It's, it's a great look, great visuals, yeah? And here we have AJ pulling off the stand-up picks gang sign 
Yeah, stand the pics for life. He's gonna he's got a, a tattoo of stand the pics across his knuckles. Yeah. Grey Bleeder's got one on his uh, stomach. Um, but yeah, here he is doing the stand up picks gang sign. Stand up picks till we die, man. And then look, right? Here he is at the Westfield Shopping Centre, uh, being an agent provocateur, um, telling people to invade the shopping centre, which then gets reported by the media as a bunch of animalistic thugs who invade a shopping centre and have to get the police out on them and uh, waste a lot of police resources and time, etc. So thanks for that, AJ, you mong. Um, So, yeah, AJ's the one with the green shirt, as you can see there. And he's there chilling with um, the guy that I exposed, who, as you can see there, is knocking the helmets off policemen's heads. Now, you can, see, you can simply see his face. You can identify this man. So, really, if it wasn't fake, which it is, they would have arrested him by now, or at least spoken to him by now, because they've got footage of him doing it. They've got his face there. I mean, come on now. Yeah, and I've noticed that since I exposed him for doing this, he's been very quiet. I haven't seen him again. So obviously he's been told that, uh, you know, he's been exposed a little bit too much. So he has to sort of uh, just chill out, sit in the garden, watch the other shills do what they do, you know. So yeah, there's AJ, um, who was doing the Stanapix gang sign. Um, at the invasion of the Westfield Shopping Centre. So you've got Cricket Man, Grey Bleeder and AJ. And they're all agent provocateurs, um, discreditors and basically just fake protesters. And they claim to represent you. And if that doesn't make you angry or frustrated or depressed, then I don't know what will. But on the other hand, by exposing them, you take away their power. Like I just said, by exposing this man who knocked the helmets off the policeman twice, he's out of action now. So... Anyone who wants to come to me and go, oh, all you do is say fair porn, oh, where's the solution? <laughs> um, I'm giving you the solution of exposing them and taking away their power, numb nuts, and that's why they don't do anything anymore. When was the last time you saw Free Hugs do anything? Oh yeah, a while ago, because I've been exposing him. Yeah? It's simple as that. You, If you want to... Um, you want to do something, what you do is you shine a light where there's darkness. So it illuminates it for everyone and everyone knows what the perils and dangers are. If you didn't, if you didn't light it up or illuminate it, people wouldn't know. And they'd go down that dark path and not know of the troubles. So by exposing, by illuminating, by shining a light in the darkness, that is the solution. So any comments like that that come to me, they're just getting put in the delete box straight away. I haven't got time to waste with you Muppets, yeah? And the people who say it are just the shills anyway with different accounts backing up their other shill friends and accounts, yeah? Simple as that. So there we go. I think you can agree that standard pecs are now have been destroyed. Yeah, they haven't got a leg to stand on now. I've shown you how they're agent provocateurs. And I've just shown you that they actually promote far-right channels who are Zionists, pro-Israel, and also former bloody Israel army snipers, for God's sake. Wake the hell up. Yeah? Stand up pick should, should be dead in the water by now. They shouldn't even be able to do anything because they should be so discredited, yeah? And we don't do this through violence. What we do is what it says there. Where there is darkness, we shine our light the brightest. And that's what we do, okay? We shine the light on these snakes so that you know who they are and who they back and what they do and the fact that they're just lying to you on a daily bloody basis, okay? Right. Let me know what you think, but personally, I think that Stan picks are... They're, they're obsolete, they're extinct, like the dodo, yeah? So, sit down, X. And I get a very good feeling when I realise that I have 5,000 subscribers, which is more than Stan Apex, which is more than Piers Corbyn, which is more than Haiku Ku. Yeah? How the hell have I got more subscribers than Piers Corbyn? The guy that is supposed to be the leader of the free world. I'll tell you why, because obviously there aren't that many people that believe in him. 
yeah so what we need to do is we need to realize that and take advantage of that so there you go haiku ku uk column piers corbin stan apex many others extinct discredited destroyed power disabled yeah so where there's darkness we shine our light the brightest take care of yourselves of others um, I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on today because I think they got stuff planned today. So we'll have a, we'll have a look at that. All right. Take care, everyone. Peace. Yeah.